Hey guys, this is RV for RV Log, and I just noticed I forgot to remove my glasses. So you'll have to watch me while I do. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's about the glare. Okay, so guess what, people? There's an Earthstone, tur Earthstone tournament. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing like that like crazy retarded. There's an Earthstone tournament at work, and I was telling you guys that I didn't expect to do good at all during this tournament, and turns out that. Turns out I finished first of the season, and we're going into bracket, and there's only four players in the bracket, so it's basically semifinal and final right away. So today I had my semifinal. Um, it's versus my uh, narrative director, and I did not want to do it. I wanted the four feet. I wanted the four feet so bad. The Hearthstone makes me so nervous. It makes me more nervous than when I play CS at home now. It's just, I get so nervous because... I'm not, like, I think I told you you, you guys that, I, like, I'm not confident in my skill because I haven't practiced at all. So, basically, I feel like I'm just playing to lose because I'm, I know I'm not ready, right? And, like, there's nothing more than I hate in participating in something and I guess not knowing I'm not the best <laughs> or not ready, you know? Anyway, so, we're in the semifinal. I feel like for fading, I decide to play the matches. And, like, I'm stressed. The heart is, like, pumping on my chest. And it's, like, ah! And I won the first game. It wasn't close. I, I won pretty, fairly easy. And then he beat me on the second game. So it was down to a, it was a best of three. It was down to the last game. You can We can have two classes and as many decks as we, as we want. And you can switch decks, decks in, in between the... Um, decks in between the the matches as well but I just have I use one class one deck and that's it so I just played the same deck all three matches and it was basically who got lucky on the card draw you know and anyway I won I won I won I freaking won so I was playing hunter he was playing a mage but at work we're, they're making jokes, jokes because they're calling the, his decks uh, the money decks because he spent uh, a few money in the game so he got a bunch of legendaries and it was really like it was hard to beat him I had to like I had to think a lot like I had to like think th five turns ahead I'm gonna play this card when he plays this card and I you know I know that Hearthstone is like that um, but it's so different when it's like oh I actually know the guy's deck you know because Again, I don't know all the cards and everything, so it was it was really tough. But I'm in the semi fight. I'm in the final, yeah. But the thing is that I'm playing versus my good friend. I might have mentioned um, him to you guys. He sits right next to me at work, so he basically built my deck. So he knows how to come through me a hundred percent. So we'll see tomorrow, cause I don't know anything about him. I beat him in the season, but I think I got very lucky. Uh. And like it was early in the in the matches, and he was not paying attention really, and he was just playing like this. And anyway, anyway, and we're supposed to play tomorrow, but I have a lunch, so I might not play tomorrow. Anyway, I'll keep you updated, guys. And the same guy told me something crazy today. Okay, so I had hiccups, and you know, hiccups is like. It comes as like a stain or like dropping your iPhone and something like in water. It's always like, oh, you should do this, you should do this, you should do this. There's like tons of tons of stuff that you can do, right, to counter hiccups. The w the one that I liked the most was raising my arms. So I just rose my arms and it was to um, to um, loosen up your diaphragm or whatever you call it in English. And I mean, it worked like twice out of three times basically, but it wasn't. It was not fail proof. It Actually, it was not working all the time. So, my neighbor, I have the hiccups for 20 minutes. He's like, try this. So, he tells me to put basically your thumb on your pinky and pinky like this and open your 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 fingers like this. And he says, just do this for like 10 seconds and then stop and resume your work. And I'm like, bullshit, you're bullshitting me. There's no way it's going to work. Like, blah, 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 stop trolling me. Blah, blah. And then he's like, no, just do it. And I do it with him. And I, like, the whole time I'm like, there's no way. You're going to be like, ha, ha, you're stupid at the end. And guess what? 
It freaking worked. It worked. He said he saw a TED talk about it. About know your body kind of thing. It worked. Oh my god. So next time you have an ICIP, try this. And then you can call bullshit right now, but try it. So I was just like this. It worked. Crazy ICIP tricks. That's it, guys. I'm gonna go stream for like an hour because I came all night because I went to all you can eat sushi and it was really good, even though I don't like sushi. Oh my god! Anyway. Bye, guys. <laughs>